Hello Libra and welcome to your June 2021 tarot readings with me. Uh, if you're new to my channel, dear Libra, please do subscribe so that you're notified every time I release a new video. So my dear Libra, Sun, Moon and Rising, let's see what's in store for June. Well, 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 it starts with the masculine energy over here. We start with the masculine energy for the Librans. Um, this is a very positive uh, kind of a masculine energy. Somebody who is very dynamic, somebody who is very loyal. Uh, someone, it can be a friend of yours. It can be you if you are uh, the Libra gentleman. Very active, dynamic, sportive, yes. And um, this person is here to help you. I'm seeing a very supportive energy. I'm seeing a very, uh, an energy wherein um, this person is there to help you, is uh, there to give you some information regarding um, the, the phase that you're passing through regarding some obstacles in your life. A very good advisor, a very good friend. I also see something related to money matters is happening for Librans in the first week of June. Um, it can be that some of you are uh, have applied for a loan, so they're going to meet a banker. And this is the kind of a person who is, uh, who is helping you out. Uh, it also can mean that you are into banking service and you are... Um, you know, uh, you are working on some kind of uh, something related to banking I'm seeing over here. If you are into banking, then you are doing your job or rather you are helping some people out uh, by giving some kind of financial solutions. Uh, all in all, I'm seeing that um, some news regarding money is uh, on the cards in the first week and I feel it's more or less a positive news. I don't see it as a negative energy regarding the money energy most probably somebody is going to help you out if you're in a tight corner regarding your finances my dear libra then we go to the second week well the second week librans are charming librans are roaring yes <laughs> librans are um yeah they are flashing their smiles and creating that are uh, you know that ambience uh, that charm and around them they're charming everyone this is what i see However, my dear Librans, I have to tell you that you need to be a bit careful in the second week of June because you can be provoked. Provoked in the sense uh, there can be some people who can be a bit jealous with you. Um, there is a bit of a streak of aggressivity. Okay, this aggressive um, energy is playing up in the air for you, dear Librans, in the second week. You might uh, get uh, provoked or you might rather get really, uh, you know, Somebody pushes you a bit too tight in the corner, uh, puts you in the corner and that is what you don't like. So you might retaliate at this point of time. I'm saying, wow, well, Librans, lit retaliating. I would like to see how does that look. Yeah, yeah, with their smile most probably. <laughs> yeah, and with the facts. <laughs> they will attack with the facts. This is what I see. So uh, what I see, my dear Librans, is that in the second week, you're going to do very, very well. Your charisma uh, is charming others, no matter online or offline. Uh, you are uh, being very much, uh, you know, you're being very magnetic. You're being very um, good at your work. Whatever you are doing, you're going to be very good at that. However, just be careful because there is an energy of jealousy, as I said, around you, which can, you know, be the show spoiler. So be careful about that and you might get a bit possessive about your loved one in the second week. Uh, you might find this kind of, you know, like, oh, he's mine or she's mine kind of thing, you know, like uh, suddenly like that uproar comes uh, up uh, in your sentimental life. Uh, maybe something triggers it and then suddenly you become a bit possessive. Uh, so be careful about that also because... Uh, uh, being overly possessive uh, can be a bit suffocating for your loved one, right? So be that Libra who balances everything, all right? And um, otherwise, I'm seeing money-wise also things are looking okay in the second week. Um, uh, Career-wise also, I'm seeing that if you are appearing for any interviews and all, you're really going to be very, very, um, very dynamic and really good at your interviews also because this energy is really, really... You know, bright energy. This is what I'm seeing for the Librans for the second week. Then we come to the third week. Well, this is a challenging week, my dear Librans. Because I see over here is that that 
I told you not to do that in the second week. You got provoked, you enter into a fight and in the third week you are paying the price of it. And how is that happening in the third week? The third week is going to be an energy wherein uh, there are people, there can be some kind of rivalry over here at this point with somebody. It can be at home, it can be outside, okay. Um, there is a there is a very, you know, opposing forces here working. Like you say east, they will say west. You say sun, they say moon. You know, like purposely somebody might try to just oppose you for the sake of opposing you. But that can create a real, uh, you know, nervous tension inside of you in the third week. The, the third week um, is going to be a, a week which is going to test you, my dear Libra. Uh, test you in the sense to see whether you are a real Libra or not. How are you going to sort out those problems? Are you going to use the sword or are you using your smile here? I say use your smile. That's much better than thousand swords, right, my dear Librans? Use that smile and kill them with your smile. <laughs> And not really kill them okay <laughs> yeah i mean do that because using these swords is not going to be very good because they have three and you have three swords so you know that is um, equal kind of equals and opposites uh, you know striking on each other but yes there will be um, some kind of um, challenge uh, that you might face in the third week and this is a general reading so don't get worked up because some people say oh but this happened, but this didn't happen. Well, this is a general reading. So, you know, take what resonates and leave the rest that doesn't resonate. So, but in the third week, however, my dear, just be careful uh, regarding those energies uh, that are there just to create, uh, you know, just some people like to uh, be mean and lower down your morale. And they can be some people who are very close to you also who can do that. Because they are worked up, they are frustrated, so they don't know where to put that frustration. So you are there in front of them, sitting calm. They say, wow, this is the person I should attack. And then they come with their swords and then they start fighting for no reasons. And this is what you are going to feel, that energy in the third week. And um, this is where uh, just uh, your morale is going to be affected because of this kind of petty, little, insignificant stuff. And... Uh, I would say it might not get uh, affected if you refuse to react on that. Don't react on that. Let them do all that drama. Just watch them. Wow, what are they doing? <laughs> and get entertained in instead. Just watch them. Wow. Oh, you can do this. Oh, you can do this too. Wow, great. <laughs> yeah. If they are your loved ones. But if they are somebody outside, especially in the administration department, you cannot do that. <laughs> you have to put them right like saying what is what because this is an energy where administrative stuff also can become challenging if it's regarding your papers if it's regarding uh, some taxes some kind of investments some kind of uh, you know money loan stuff um, some papers can get a bit mixed up or something that you felt was going the right way can face some kind of um, opposition from the higher up so be careful there uh, in the third week and as I said your smile is your best weapon and your judgment balanced judgment right and then we go to the last week and this last week is a really 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 nice energy it's a beautiful energy this energy is about being wise use using your wisdom it's also about foreign connections whatever is coming from uh, you know Foreign lands, foreign cultures is very, very good at this point of time for you. In the last week, uh, if somebody is proposing you some kind of uh, a project uh, or uh, if you have uh, contacts in the foreign land and project is coming from that side, uh, that can be good. It also foretells of some of the Librans planning a travel um, abroad in the coming months. This is what I see for some Librans. And I also see that this is starting... A time of nine months like whatever you are doing right now whatever seeds you're sowing right now are going to flourish uh, in nine months the fruits they are going to bear so what are you going to sow my dear Librans is whole soul your choice whatever it is that you sow at this point of time in the fourth week of June is going to bear fruits after nine months so it can be a baby also it can be a baby project also it can be something that you always wanted to learn to do 
So it's, you know, this new skill that you will acquire and you, after nine months you have acquired some new skills, a new language, something new that you can do. Uh, but this is a more of a foreign uh, energy. So it can be your contacts with the foreign land. Maybe you're applying for a job in a foreign country uh, and something, you know, networking of this kind is taking place. And uh, whatever is coming from off shows is uh, seeming to be pretty good for you my dear Librans. so wow that is going to be a wonderful wonderful month for you yes except for the third week where you need to take a bit of care and i feel yes you will manage it <laughs> i don't have problems <laughs> believing in that you usually you make your way through your sweet smiles yes so yes let the bells ring <laughs> <laughs> and um, have a happy happy month and please do like share and comment and i shall see you in the next month until then take good care of yourself bye bye god bless bye